Hello everybody, this is your truly Pastor Darius Pinder from Prophetic Kingdom and Kingdom Ministry where my pastor is, Prophetess Quincy says. We are happy and excited to have you here to our morning worship virtual service. I am anticipating a move of God this morning and I want you to tune in and get ready for a fantastic praise and worship and our wonderful message from God. Somebody put your hands all over this place and ask God to send his glory down all over us. Oh Lord, let your glory fall, Lord. Oh, let your glory fall, Lord. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of our King rise among us. Let us rise. See, let the glory, let the glory of the Lord rise. Let the glory of the Lord rise. Let the praises of our King let it rise among us. Let it rise. Let the glory of the Lord let it rise. Let the glory of the Lord rise. Let the praises of our King, Lord, let it rise. Let it rise. Let the songs of the Lord rise. Let the songs of the Lord.
on and stay in the atmosphere of worship.
worship you, God. give your tithes, offering, or special love gift to help assist one of the many ongoing programs here at Prophetic Kingdom Encounter Ministries. The information you need will be at the bottom of the screen. And don't forget, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 7 says, God loves a cheerful giver. We want to invite you to follow us on our media platforms. And we want you to love, not like, but love, share, and comment on our live broadcast. We invite you to follow us as we follow Christ. Hi, I'm the man who says with Prophetic Kingdom and Counter Ministries. And boy, am I excited to have you here with me today to listen to this powerful, awesome, dynamic, and empowering woman of God. She will bring forth the word and break it down for the middle aged, young, and even the old. Sit back, relax, and enjoy listening to this word with me today. Thank you. Thank you so much for taking time out today to tune into our Sunday worship virtual service. I know that you had so many other options, but you chose to worship here with Prophetic Kingdom Encounter Ministry. Thank you so much. I have a word to drop into your spirit today. I'm standing here in front of the International Bazaar. This was once known as the place where a lot of people came. They worked, they worked really hard. They got incomes. This place provided for so many families. After the International Bazaar and the Princess Casino closed their doors, many people lost hope. They lost their jobs, lost their homes, lost everything. But what they did not realize after that devastating storm came that shook Freeport Grand Bahama, a lot of people did not realize that God was still with us. He never left us. And the same God that provided for them before the International Bazaar before Bahama Princess was the same God that provided for them after Bahama Princess closed their doors, after International Bazaar was shut down. I want to give you an encouraging word today from Romans 4 and 17 that says, 
speak those things that are not as though they were. Today is just for the people that have crazy faith, that have supernatural faith in God. If you look behind me, you see a building that was condemned. You see a structure that is no more. There are no people here. But if you look in the spiritual realm, you can see that God takes nothing and creates something. What are you saying today? Some of your lives look like what's in the back of me. Some of your situation seems like what's in the back of me. But can I tell you today that God is about to wake everything up that is dead in your life? That's right. I said that. God is about to wake everything up that you thought was dead. Can I tell you that we are not only about to bounce back, but God is about to hit you with a supernatural move of God. And all you have to do today is speak life. Speak life over what? Speak life over your finances. Speak life over your finances. Speak life over your family. Speak life over everything that affects your life. Can I tell you today, can I challenge you to speak life? No more doubt. No more lost hope. No more lack. No more confusion. No more depression. After today, everything the devil stole, we are taking back. Listen to me. Man has no control over your future. Who God bless, no man can curse. If God be for you, who could be against you? I want to prophesy to 1,000 people today that God is about to bring you out. Not only are you about to come out, but you're about to come out with substance. You're about to come out with joy. Everything you're, you lost, everything you lost, you're about to regain. God is about to do something great for you. I want to close with this. As I stand here, someone may drive past this and see something that is dead, that has no life. But when I pass this, I see someone that God has the potential to bless, who can purchase this whole property, who could knock down these whole buildings, who could rebuild something that no man other than them ever thought of. That person can be you. Can I tell you, everything that you're driving past, that you're driving around, that is dead? God says, look again. He says, look at it again. What are you saying to me today, pastor? God says, you are the person that's about to birth hope into somebody else's life. You are the person that's about to birth hope into someone else's life. You are the person that God is about to bless to help others to feed their families. You didn't understand that? Let me break it down a little more for you. You're about to be the next millionaire of your family. You're about to be the next billionaire of this country. I don't care what you see. We don't walk by sight. We walk by faith. Take this word today. Let it encourage you. Let it empower you. I need you to be blessed. I need you to be blessed. You are coming out on top. Don't mind what you see. God is bigger than what you see. I want you, as you look at this screen today, as you watch this virtual service with me today, I need you to do one more thing for me. I need you to type something. The Bible says, write the vision make it plain. I want you to write something for me on that screen. I want you to write, I'm the next miracle. Because you're going to be the next miracle in somebody else's life. The family members, the friends, the associates that did not treat you right. Can I tell you, in a few weeks from now, you are going to be their boss. You're going to have to hire them. The people that rejected you, now you're going to have the final say. Isn't God a great God? Why don't you just go ahead and give God a praise? I love you. I thank you. I wasn't long today, but I know that God is speaking in this season. Things are about to get better. Give God praise. Give God praise. Give God glory. Give God honor. Stop crying. Pick yourself up. Wipe those tears. Throw away that depression. God is too big for that. Every morning you wake up, it represents opportunity. And if God was through with you, you wouldn't have gotten up this morning. The mere fact that you got up today, it signifies that God is about to do something with you. I don't know what you're about to do, but God do it. If you are watching me today and your soul is not right, 
you don't know God and maybe you slid, slid or backslid or, or maybe you just fell by the wayside. I want you to say this quick prayer after me. Just repeat after me. Father, today I give you back my soul. I confess with my lips that Jesus Christ died on the cross for my sins and he rose again. I denounce every plan of the enemy concerning my life. And I decree and declare right now that I will live my best life. I am now saved. I am now delivered. I am now sanctified. And I am a child of God. If you said that prayer, change is about to knock at your door. God bless you. I'm Pastor Quinty Sayers with Prophetic Kingdom Encounter Ministry and Quinty Sayers Ministries International. I love you. Be blessed. Have a blessed Sunday. Hi, I'm Evangelist Latira Russell. Hey, I'm Pastor Roxalita Parker. Hello, I'm Minister Tanika Davis. Was it an empowering word by our senior Pastor Quinty Sayers? Indeed it was. And the praise team, wasn't that singing just amazing? Yes it was, and the sermon was so empowering. The sermon was about faith, the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. That's our life today. We're living by faith. We're living by faith because guess what? We're hoping for things that are not there yet. That's what we're living on. We invite you to tune in every Sunday to our weekly virtual broadcast. Listen, friends, I need you to spread the good news. I need you to share the good news that we will be fasting from May 28th, 2020 to July 7th, 2020, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. the next morning. During this period, we will be drinking water only. You heard me. Not only that, remember, we are sowing a special seed of $40. I'm telling you, you want to be a part of this great move of God. Be blessed.